You're listening to The Morning Show here on KGMN Super Country 100.1 in Kingman, Arizona. Let's go right to the phones. We have one of the funniest women in America, Vicki Lawrence. Good morning, Vicki. How you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, where are you calling from this morning? Are you still in California or have you made your way over to Laughlin? No, we are, we are home. It's a good yeah, spot California. to be, right? Long Beach. <laughs> You're in Long Beach. Yeah. How's the rain been? Not so bad for us. You know, a little gnarly for some people, but it's been, it's been nice, actually. It's been nice to have it be a little bit, uh, at least you can get a sweater out. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said, too. You know, like, yeah. I love just being able to break out the sweater. Can't wait to have you in town. Uh, you're coming through. You're going to be at Don Laughlin's Riverside. You play there a lot, don't you? Well, uh, probably, I don't know, maybe twice a year. Yeah. It's a good gig. I love the place. Yeah, always great crowd. Yeah, it always seems to be full. It's a good place to go. Laughlin's cool. You're going to be playing uh, December 27th through the 31st. Uh-huh. And you're bringing a heck of a show to town. Tell everybody about what you're doing. It's pretty much a two-person show. Well, you know, when we put the show together, I knew that Mama had to be a big part of it because I know how much everybody loves Mama. But I also knew that I need to be me before I'm not anymore because, you know, she's, I mean, she would just take over. So I said, instead of calling it a one-woman show, wouldn't it be fun to call it a two-woman show? Because I would like to think we are distinctly different. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> That's my husband's nightmare that he'll roll over in bed one morning and Mama will be there. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's one of those acts you can do forever, right? You started so young. Uh, how old were you when you started portraying Mama? I was 24. Oh, wow. That's just yeah. so awesome. What a, a gig to get. Yeah. And, yeah, it, it would be pretty cool because, well, I guess when you do get old, uh, there you go. You can do this bit forever, you know? I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. Do you find yourself saying what Mama would say sometimes to your well, husband? Well, you know, I think as I get older, I sort of uh, agree with her a lot more than I did when I was younger. And, you know, as you get older, you just sort of have earned the right to say what you think and, uh, you know, not beat around the bush. No. No and- time. Not going to beat around the bush. Going to just say it as it is. Well, that's good. It brings me to my next question. <laughs> How do you classify your act? Oh, I'd say it's PG. My God. Well, I think the kids are smarter than we are nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> I would say it's PG. And then how long does your show usually run? Like, how much do you put into your personal performance, and then how much do you usually set aside for Mama? Oh, it's like half and half. It's about a 90-minute show. Oh, that's great. I can't wait yeah. to come out and see the show. I have not got to catch you doing any of your stand-up, and I can't wait. This is going to be awesome. Oh, it w- yeah, it's a, f- it's a fun show. I When we first put it together, it was right on the heels of 9-11, and I said to everybody that helped me, I said, I really want to just take people away from everything that's going on in the world and make them laugh for 90 minutes. And I think we do that. I think we, we usually have a pretty good time. I'll tell you what, I got one of my best compliments ever when I was in Laughlin the very first time we played there. And uh, the gentleman that booked the show, we had never met. And he came down the second night we were there uh, to say hello. And we were chatting, and he finally decided he was going to get serious. He said, so do you want to know what the word is out on the casino floor? And I said, sure, what is the word on the casino floor? (laughs) He said, the word is, wear your depends. And I said, well, that's just about the nicest compliments that I've ever gotten, I think. You don't want to miss any of it. (laughs) Wear your depends. (laughs) We do still play your song. I I love your version of The Night's the Light Went Out in Georgia. Oh, thank you. What's the story behind the song? Oh, well, I tell that story in my show. You know, I tell my half of the show is sort of largely autobiographical, and I tell all the stories that I think people want to hear. If they were to be able to ask me questions, I know these are all the things they would ask. So, uh, yes, how in the world do you have one juggernaut of a hit? Yeah. It's certainly one of the stories in the show. But uh, I was ju- just briefly was uh, married to the guy that wrote the song. And, Bobby Russell. Uh, he couldn't give it away. And nobody, everybody thought it would offend the South, and it wasn't good. And, you know, his producer finally threw his hands up and said, let's just go in the studio and do it with Vicky. Wow. And I said from the very get-go, I said it's a hit. Who did he pitch it to before you finally did it? I'm not going to tell, because it's funny in the show. Oh, that's all part of your show. <laughs> I, don't give it. If you would like to know the answer, you're going to have to go to the show. Yeah. <laughs> Again, you're playing the Don Laughlin's Riverside Casino in Laughlin, yeah. and uh, you're going to be there the 27th through the 31st. Yes, I think the shows are at 7 o'clock, and then we do two on New Year's Eve. Do you sell merchandise? I do not sell any merchandise. No. Have you done no. a stand-up bit? You have bit? to go to Walmart to buy Mama's Family. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> you haven't done any stand-up comedy uh, recorded? You haven't done like an HBO special or anything? 
Uh, I haven't. Could you? Would you like to help me make that happen? I think we should make that happen. <laughs> I think it would be a hit. As far as female comedians go, you're right at the top of the list. Thank you very much. I can't wait to come down. And is there any way we could possibly get to meet? Oh, sure. Yeah, I'll come down for the show. I'd love to at least shake your hand. Won't miss a second. (laughs) I'll bring my Depends. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Do you miss the Carol Burnett show at all? Well, I miss it. Um... You know, it was uh, it was a huge chapter in my life. You no, know, and it's where I met my husband, and it's where I had my babies. And, yeah. Well, I you know, think you like made a big the show chapter of my life, but it's so uh, it's like almost a different lifetime. Incredibly proud of it, and incredibly proud of what we did. But uh, I don't know about miss it. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> as soon as uh, I brought on the air that you were going to come on the show, uh, the phones lit up, and you know what the number one comment is from people who I talked to yesterday and today. I don't know. They, they told me to listen to the elephant skit. Oh. And well. People love the skit. It has millions and millions of views. Yeah. And it, it really is. You stole the bit. Your one-liner <laughs> in there is is what makes people watch it. You know, <laughs> I love it. Uh, so can't wait to come down and meet you. You are. You're one of my favorite comedians of all time. So it, it's going to be a thank good you. show. And I'm looking forward to it. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much for coming on, Vicki. All right. Bye-bye. Right, bye. There she is, Vicki Lawrence, Don Laughlin's Riverside Casino. Uh, you'll see her play both of her roles as her and Mama off the Carol Burnett Show. Should be a great time, December 27th through the 31st. You're listening to The Morning Show. I'm Brandon Iron here on KGM and Super Country 100.1 right here in Kingman, Arizona.